Welcome, I'm from is a Redmi Note 10 Pro and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. And as you can see, the phone in front of me is locked. So to unlock it, I, I would need to either provide the um, Google account that was previously logged in here or the pattern that was previously set, as you can see. So to begin the process, uh, number one, you want to log into uh, some kind of Wi-Fi connection. Uh, just quickly go back and you can see that I am connected. And once you are connected to Wi-Fi, uh, you want to then tap on the Add Network. And in the SSID, uh, type in youtube.com. Select it by holding it and then choose this link icon. It's a share option. And once you open it up, I'm gonna go into the account from here. And settings, about. YouTube Terms of Service and choose the Me Browser for this. I'm gonna skip and more, I accept or agree and continue and disregard the pop-up. So once you load it up, I tap right at the top on the search bar and you wanna navigate to a hard reset that info slash bypass. Like so. If you need a moment to write it down, pause the video. From here, you want to scroll down and simply tap on the settings icon and this will open up the settings on your device. And all you need to do now is scroll down to... There we go, special features. Then select second space, turn on space. Give it a moment, it's gonna switch to it. Yeah, so let me just reboot the device because something glitched out. So this is the pen for the SIM card, actually, instead of Inserting the pen, I'm gonna pop out the tray. There we go. So we're back in the locked portion of the device. So let's again do the same thing that we did before. I'm gonna check if I can just type in anything. Looks like it needs to have some kind of. There we go. So I'm gonna try to quickly get back to where I was. Okay, so that's basically what we should have seen by the first try, but as you did see, it was doing some weird stuff, so Reboot seems to fix it. So from here, let's stop on continue. Uh, we're gonna use uh, using shortcut Let's continue again. And from here, I'm gonna skip setting a passcode. And once you see this um, second space, which you can define by the fact that it has no wallpaper, you wanna hold car key and select again, reboot. So let's unlock our device. And as you just seen, it tried to open up the setup screen and then it just kind of closed it and allowed us to access the home screen. So once you're on the home screen, click on the settings. Now I'll also point out, just going back, I can see that there is a wallpaper right here and it's the default wallpaper of the device. Uh, this isn't the second space. As you see in the second space had a, a plain uh, 
bluish grayish wallpaper uh, this is something completely different so this is the first space and basically the default one so let's go to the settings from here we're gonna scroll down to let's see So we could go to additional settings and from here factory reset, erase all data and factory reset. We do need to wait uh, 20 seconds, so 10 here and 10 on the next page, just so we are aware that factory resetting our device will well, remove data. And there we go, so now the process will begin. This will take approximately like three minutes and once it's finished, we will be then back in the setup screen. But at that point, the device will be fully unlocked so you can set it up however you want and gain access to it without any kind of need to do any kind of bypassing or any uh, kind of glitching of the device. So I'll be back once the actual reset is finished. So now that the process is finished, you can set up your device however you like. Now I'm going to go through it as quick as I can. And huh, so let's get to it. And there we go. As you can see, that completes the bypass. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.